And here's a game that most of you probably have never heard of. I, I kind of vaguely remember picking this game up. I think it was at EB Games at the time. I was... I don't even know how old I was. But, uh... So, later on, pretty much found out how obscure this game actually is. At, at this point, I believe there's nothing more than a small community on the internet that I've happened to find. So anyways, the gist of this game is that uh, you, you are a prisoner and prisons are overcrowded or something like that. And so in order to handle the overcrowding uh, problem, they take they've given you an opportunity to participate in this recreational sport called Death Chrome. And, and basically if you survive you are rewarded your freedom. I believe this page here is going to tell us something like that. Yes, freedom awaits for all others grim, fiery death. The odds are not in your favor. This is the diagram of a runner. Nothing really important on this page. Alright, and uh, what a runner is, is basically like a motorcycle type thing, and it's equipped with a laser cannon and this barrier. Although, uh, back when I played it before, I really didn't use the barrier much. Only the AI is pretty stupid, so it's probably actually more useful than I give it credit for. Uh, located throughout all the arenas, uh, You'll find various secondary re weapons, such as the Nitros, which allows you to ram into your opponents. It pretty much kills them instantly if you hit. Uh, sc scorch Missile, Homing Missile, Shockwave, which uh, a portable version of the uh, little traps that are actually in the arena. Uh, Disruptor disables all your controls. Iron Sword just does damage. Nano shield, invulnerability, there's uh, health recharges, although when I was little I couldn't really figure out what exactly those were. And extra lives, and you get points for all, all your kills, so eventually you'll get extra lives that way as well. And there are locked areas, although I do not know where they, where they all are. Um, Enter code it's been a while since I actually played this this game. I did, didn't know a few back in the day, but we never really made it past uh, the third area. A whole lot anyways. Um, I did beat the game myself once. So anyways, you got the selection of runners. They have different stats. Um, probably the last one might be the best. I, I don't know. Anymore. It's gonna go with uh, this white one here. And we'll go ahead, go ahead and... I already skipped a couple of arenas because I just wanted to sort of show off the game. Not actually gonna play through it. So, for, at the beginning of each uh, uh, domain, you, you start off with half of it unlocked. Round one. And your goal is to get a certain number of kills, which we'll see what we need to get soon. Four kills in this area. So, this game is actually really easy to beat. Um, if you don't have to... If you just hang around here, they'll respawn here, and they'll never sh The AI is not programmed to shoot you in this area, so you can actually just... ...shoot fast enough, and... ...never have to worry about leaving that area, and you can complete the whole game that way. In fact, that's how I did it the first time. The AI is not particularly, as I said before, the AI is not particularly smart. Oh. Let's see, what else do I want to say? Oh, I'm regarding the uh, bro brokenness with the uh, starting area there. So that's probably the biggest flaw in this, this game is that the starting area is just in that one spot. I think if they uh, did randomized death uh, 
like the randomized spawn points like most deathmatch games these days, it probably would have been a lot better. Uh, let's see. Have a So yeah, I'm technically allowed to advance to the next area right now if I really wanted to. Of course, you can st stick around until the end to gain a higher score. Ah, uh, guys are vulnerable. Down in the uh, bottom next to the radar, uh, of course you got how many runners are in the area, but also is the health of each of the runners. Two, one, go. Oh, uh, yeah, it did have a local area multiplayer, although I never really got a chance to try it. Pretty much the only uh, played this game before we even had a local area network. And when we did, it was only like two computers, and nobody else really had a computer after all. It was like late 90s. I believe this game came out in 2006, if I'm not mistaken. I've heard it was uh, also published on uh, Sato's uh, Heat.net. Um, I don't really know much about, about that. These ramps here, I think if you have the uh, nitrous, you can get up, up those uh, ramps and into there, which you might, I don't know, find a key or something. I don't know what's, what's all in this uh, level in particular. That's said it's been a long time since I played the game. Surprisingly bad. Video soon. Prisoner Prepare for next round. So yeah, as I was saying, this uh, game is pretty pretty obscure. It is. Not really a whole lot of information about it on the internet. Round three. And uh, 
I was even because uh, two, back in the day, one, go. I think uh, my brother was had my dad search the internet at, at work. You know, you know, back in the day, we didn't really have home internet connections. And uh, I think my, my dad was like, I can't find anything on the internet. Even today, it's pretty much the same thing as I pretty pretty much uh, talking about this game with a with a friend and it's like yeah just go ahead and find, search YouTube I'm sure there's a video of it somewhere and uh, turns out there pretty much isn't that's why I'm doing this talk about uh, what happens if uh, you don't get, get it all your lot of kills in the time limit that you see at the top there. And basically there's this mode, it goes into this mode called scrub and then you have a certain amount of time to get to the center of the area. And if you still don't have all, all of your uh, kills that you need, that's game over. Oh, these are the things that are in the uh, domain that have the shockwave effect. After that, you can actually uh, drive through your own barrier. Yeah. Ooh, a key? Although, I don't know where any of the lock doors are, so I can't really help you in showing off the uh, key. a slight uh, easter egg if you just hold still for a while and not uh, long it takes. Then we can try showing it. But uh, yeah, no, no camping to allowed. The name is PC Sue. Keep moving, criminal. There it is. Domain. Yeah, I could exit, but I do want to show off the scrub while I'm doing this. Yeah. Yeah, let's see, there's a the key to the next in room number four. Maybe I get out of here right now. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if I can find the uh, locked in. It's I have a big recollection of where it might be, but uh, don't hold it back. Ten seconds to scrub. Ah, uh, there's more scrub stops. Ah, 
bad as crap. I remember it being a lot more ugly back in the day. Prisoner leaving domain. Get a code to unlock the next domain. And pretty much all the codes I like that to have a phrase that has a number in it. Oh, I should say not pretty much they all are. Round one. Three. And that's pretty much all I want to show off for now. I think he carried the sign long enough. So, uh... Yeah, let's do that. Well done, criminal. Yeah, as you can see, I was practicing a little bit. So yeah, I think that's that. I don't think I really have anything else to say. Didn't really work in this control menu here. Oh, I guess you can configure all the controls. I thought it was going to be one of those games where I had to keep using the arrow keys even though this laptop usually beeps at me using the arrow keys. I don't think it did in this video. Uh, so yeah. That's it. 